I actually have one more vow. Uh, Adrian, would you come up here for me? So I, uh, so I wrote this myself, I call this a promise to my son. <laughs> Genesis and Cottrell met in college and reconnected 10 years later, when her son Adrian was six years old. To my surprise, uh, Adrian gravitated towards Cottrell and gave him a nickname. He started calling him Big Bird because he was tall. And then Cottrell gave him the name of Little Bird and they just established their relationship from that day on. I've never been in that position before. You know, um, I, I didn't have any children. So in my eyes, this was my first child. <laughs> I kind of took it upon myself to kind of get closer with him because I just know that was very important to her. And we was inseparable. That's kind of how that started. And like, you know, as weeks and months and grew, um, the bond just got tighter and tighter. <laughs> Their bond grew so much that on his wedding day, Cottrell surprised everyone with some words dedicated to little Adrian. I actually have one more vow. Uh, Adrian, would you come up here for me? So I, uh, so I wrote this myself, I call this a promise to my son. <laughs> I came into your life when you were six years old and I wasn't sure how this was gonna go. But I let God take the will and I knew he would have this under control. You're a gift and a blessing because you have not only taught me patience, but how to be a dad. And that's the greatest gift anyone could have. So today I vow to you, I make this promise to you that I will always be there for you. I will always protect you. I will always be a shoulder you can lean on. I will always play games with you. But most of all, I will always love you. Little bird. Yeah. And beyond. Yeah. I was more like in shock than anything else. Hey, you do <laughs> I do it to myself. <laughs> Whoa. In shock, like how could someone be so loving and selfless to love my child like his own. It was, there was not a dry eye in that room. There was, mm -hmm. everyone started crying. It just like solidified, you know, the reason why I love him so much and why I married him. It's not just you and I, it's all three of us. Most men really wouldn't quite do something like that. And for me, you know, I'm very big about kids. Um, I work with kids now, so I have a passion for it. So I know what it's like to kind of have like a father figure and also a role model, um, especially for a young boy. So in my mind, it's like, I'm not just marrying the mom, I'm also marrying the son at the same time. So it's only right that I not only make a promise to her, but I make a promise to him as well. 